Hey, this is Ty from Craft Brewing, and today I'm doing a little yeast bank maintenance. Alright, so what you're going to need is uh, some yeast slants that uh, you already have yeast growing on. Um, you're going to need some uh, fresh agar slants, some alcohol, an inoculation loop, a burner, some gloves, and obviously something to label your test tubes with. So let's get started. Um, let's get this burner cracking. And get that on high. What that's going to do is create a nice environment that we can work in where dust can't settle. So uh, I like to wear gloves when I'm doing this. Uh, this makes me feel all safe and labby and all that stuff. So I'm going to throw a little alcohol on them. Keep in mind we got a burner going here, uh, so if you want to barbecue your hands, uh, be careless, otherwise kind of pay attention to what you're doing. So hands are clean. Um, this is the yeast here. We've got a couple of labels here ready to go for uh, one of our customers. He wants to uh, get a couple of strains here. He wants to start his yeast bank. So um, we're going to start here. We're going to do a Y yeast 1187, if I can find it. So we've got an 1187 here. So I'm just going to crack it just to get it ready to go. And then we're going to need a slant here that we can get that onto. So really all we're going to do here is we're going to transfer a sample of the yeast from this slant over to this one. And let it grow on there. We're going to incubate it for a little bit and off it goes. So. This has been sitting in alcohol. We're going to want to make sure this loop is flamed. Let's straighten it out here. Let's get this red hot and it'll kill any of the bad stuff that's living on it. So I'm going a little bit overkill, but I'm trying to exaggerate what you're trying to do here. Uh, it's going to be hard to see on a video, especially, you know, not being here and seeing everything up close. So uh, this area that we've got this burner going, it's um, letting the hot air rise, and with it, it's not allowing any, uh, any uh, dust particles to settle down onto our work area. So we can kind of assume that this area is sterile. Because I've been waving... Uh, air around that's probably got dust on it. I'm just going to go ahead and sterilize this one more time. But everything you do at this point, you got to be very careful, otherwise, you're going to con contaminate your yeast sample. So, I'm going to flame the outside of this just to kill any bad, bad guys that are on there. I'll just touch the loop to the agar. And that'll just cool it down. I'm going to just take a sample of yeast out of there. Just scrape it up. Flame this one more time. The entire time working within our nice sterile environment. Or as sterile as it can get, I guess. Get our target slant. Flame the outside of this. Don't have to get too, too excited. And I'm just picking up some of the water that's in the bottom of this that's sterile and I'm going to just streak it all the way up. Flame the outside of this again. Put our cap on. And then we're going to burn any of the yeast that's still on here off completely. And we'll return that back to our vial of alcohol. So, now we have a sample of 1187 that's been successfully transferred. Now we're going to throw our label on it. And that is essentially all you do. Essentially when this has been inoculated like that, you can uh, um, just keep the cap just a little cracked on it. 
not uh, insanely loose, but just enough for uh, any CO2 to get out of there. And what we're gonna do is incubate this until we see some growth on there, and then we can return it to the fridge uh, where it can live for, well, some people only say a couple of months, but we go up to a year. All right, so here's our completed yeast lands. These are gonna get incubated for about 18 hours. Once we start seeing some growth on the agar here, we're gonna cap them up and they can go into the fridge for up to about six months. If you've got any questions on how to do this uh, or you want to get some supplies on, uh, you know, to make your own yeast lands, make sure you get a hold of us at craftbrewing.com. You can ask questions at our forum. Uh, we're checking that all the time and uh, answering questions that come in. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do that. Thanks for watching.